The increasingly odd story of Tam Sanka Janji, the fake interpreter at Nelson Mandela's memorial, has taken yet another twist. A relative and three friends of the bogus sign language interpreter at the Nelson Mandela Memorial Service say he was among a group of people who actually burned a man to death a decade ago for stealing a TV set. Tires were placed around the men's necks and set on fire. He was among two people that went to trial for the killings, but the authorities determined he was not mentally fit. The alleged incident supposedly took place in 2003. This newest revelation comes just days after South African news channel ENCA reported the interpreter was previously arrested on charges of murder, attempted murder, rape, theft, property damage, and kidnapping. Most of the charges against him were reportedly dropped after it was ruled he was mentally unfit to stand trial. John G. says he suffered a schizophrenic episode during the ceremony that caused him to hear voices. My physical state was not fine, but it's not a, a justification of everything, but it's just I want to put it in the clarity that I was not fine on the day in question. All of this as he stood just feet away from some of the world's most powerful individuals. For Newsy, I'm Matt Moreno.